Chosen ones, you are the hope of the world. You are the hope of the world. Look at what's happening around you. People don't know where to turn. Hello everybody, this is John and welcome to my journey. I'm gonna tell you guys something. There's so much the devil has infiltrated all aspects of society, all aspects of mankind. It's like a, it's kind of like a dark spirit hovering around the earth above the earth and he's people are working 24 7 into enslaved mankind they're so evil it's unbelievable and you, it's kind of makes you shock you 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 stay you be in shock actually when you see these people working so diligently for the devil and you're like how can this be how can people be so evil little do these people know that they're gonna end up in help one day if they don't come to repentance and that's where you come in. Everything is falling apart and people have no leadership. Everybody's looking for leaders. Chosen ones, you are the hope of this world. You are the hope of this world. There's nobody else who can do this job but you. You see guys, because God is backing you up and he's building you and he's strengthening you and he's pushing you to the right direction. He's pushing you forward. And he's telling you, stay focused on me if you want to make it. i already given you the victory. Stay close to me. He's covering you. He will never let you quit. He's pushing towards the right direction. And despite the naysayers, despite the attacks, despite the people who try to gangster you or put blockages on you, they see exactly, you see even the devil knows exactly who you really are. You didn't know who you were. Suddenly God reveals to you that you, this is who you are. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. You're anointed. You're this. You're going to do this in your life. And they're gonna, he's going to give you all these blessings. And you thought you were just a nobody. Just an outcast of society. And you're like, God, who am I to get all these blessings? Who am I you going to bless so much? And suddenly God tells you, son or daughter, I love you. I forgive you. Remember, you have a lot of things to do right now. I love you. You are special to me. You have a lot of things to do. So pick up your cross and carry it. And you carry your cross. You try to see exactly what's going on in your life. You keep going. And things are unfolding in your life, in your eyes, like a Hollywood movie. I'm, a lot of you have testimonies that are going to become bestsellers in books, in movies, in songs, in paintings. In, art, in forms of art or testimonies, just tell them on the, on the television or just tell them to people, you know? And people are gonna use that actually to bring as many people to the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Remember guys, the devil will not win because you are the one who's going to defeat them. Okay? You are anointing. You are the hope of the world. People are looking up to you. People are looking up to you and they say, like, we don't know where to turn. There are no leaders. They're either, they're, their leaders are either corrupt or they're too few and they don't have the power to save, to make a difference. Because the devil is working behind the scenes. He's doing, He's working secretly in meetings. He's dealing. He's infiltrating. And sometimes whoever resists, they kill them. That's why it's important for you to stay close to God, guys. Because God has said that if you don't, you're going through a lot of attacks. You need to stay close to God. Because the devil will try to take out many of the chosen ones. Okay. God is protecting you. The closer you are to God, the better it's going to be for you. The safer you'll be. He tells that to me as well. It's like, stay close to me because the devil is trying to kill you. Am I stupid to not to listen? No, I'm not. I said, okay, God, I'll stay close to you. Remember, guys, that you are called to do mighty things. Some of you are going to do businesses. Some of you are going to become politicians. A lot of you will do ministry. A lot of you, you, do, you, you will do YouTube channels, you go on the internet, you will going to have power and influence. If you noticed, the Christian channels take off very fast, 
but the uh, they grow slowly they grow slowly but uh, they're gonna take off they're gonna explode okay keep pushing and praying guys no matter what's happening in your life people are gonna try and they get it. as soon as they start seeing you doing something like a YouTube channel or try working on a project and they're become aware of it suddenly you see the attacks are intensifying this is one thing this is a good thing because it means you're doing the right thing your efforts will blossom God has planted a seed in you okay and it will blossom the devil is getting desperate that's why he's intensifying his attacks right now because he sees exactly your breakthrough and he's trying to discourage you as much as possible. The closer you get to the breakthrough, the more intense the attacks. It's like you give him birth. That's why the pains of labor are intensified. Because the baby is trying to come out. The baby is about to come out. Okay? So I'm going to tell you guys something. You are the hope of the world. Nobody else can do this job but you. Nobody has the anointing. You guys are anointed. You have God's grace and God's power within you, the divine power that God has given you. Your words will speak power. They will manifest things. People will find refuge in your words, your prayers, your thoughts, your actions. So be close to God, guys. Otherwise, don't let yourself get frustrated about the things that go around you. Because if you get frustrated, you'll start exuding negative things. And these things will have manifesting power. It means any words you say, they have to be 100% positive. Any words, they have to be 100% positive. Remember, guys, that you have to stay strong and stay close to God as much as possible. Do not believe everything that's going on around you. Do not fall for the attacks of the devil. That's what the devil wants to frustrate you. He wants you to react. He wants you to self-sabotage your own self. And then say, I didn't do anything, you did it. That's what he's going to say. They try to kind of like pull you in and they try to make you react in subliminal ways to make you react. And they say like, oh, it's your fault. You're this, you're that. That's how the devil works. People who don't know God, that's exactly what they do. It's manipulative and passive aggressive. And they try and the, it, you'll find them everywhere. It's not people who just don't know Christ. There are people who are in the churches and they're fake Christians, they're Pharisees. You know what? But God will see, will have the, the last word. He sees everything that they do, He's going to put them in place. And then they say, You did this to my child, and He's going to rebuke them, He's going to convict them. And then they're going to raise up their hands and, like, Sorry, God, I, we didn't know it was you. Really? Did God have to tell you in order to do this? To repent? Some people don't learn, guys. Stay close to God because that's the only Him you can trust. Thanks to Him. You'll be able to move mountains. Despite the attacks of what the people are going to do around you. It, because they don't know anything. The, the people are used. They are being claimed by the devil and God as, at the same time. They are the prize. Okay. The devil is trying to stop, to delay his demise as much as possible. He's trying relentlessly. He's a selfish, overconfident loser. And he knows that you are the soldiers of God. Not just soldiers, you're generals. You slay demons. You wreak havoc to the kingdom of darkness by your presence. Wherever you go, people make a conscious choice whether to be for you or to go against you based on what they're hiding. And the ones who have become complacent spiritually all their lives, they're going to answer to God of their crimes against you. I'm sure you know people from high school, from school, that they have issues that they never worked on. Some people have anger issues, some people are sociopaths, narcissistic, and they never, their selfishness or evil or manipulative or sneaky or greedy, they carry those sins without working on themselves spiritually. They became complacent, like, I just got a job and a wife and kids and that's good enough for me. 
and people don't understand exactly you're supposed to work on yourself daily spiritually that's why you need to do prayers right people think i've done 10 percent of what i supposed to, of what i thought i was supposed to do that's good enough i don't need to do anything more but we're not here people don't understand that we're here temporarily and we need to strive to go up there up there okay people don't understand that and that's when you become the hope of the world because you become their test you switch things around the eyes are staring at you wherever you go whatever you do people will approve of you doors will open because they can't mess with you God is here now that's what they see through you and they noticed that they're not they have to favor you otherwise God is going to rebuke them of course there's no nepotism in the kingdom of heaven they have to strive spiritually they have to see you God wants them to see you as an example that if God is for you he's going to be for them as well okay they don't understand many times the language that you speak because they have they have no spiritual discernment they're blind that's why they're used by the devil so often and that's why God has to use you in order to how should I say bring them to the right path of course who's gonna to listen to that I don't know some people will some people don't there's no other way but if we try to use chosen ones a simple language in order to help them understand they will be able to understand most of them at least anyways guys please continue to tie to this ministry this is be a great blessing for you and for a great blessing for us we try to help as many people as possible we we'll try to help the prophets in Africa. We we'll try to help people in need. And if you don't, if you don't feel like tithing, don't worry about it. Just pray for us. I know I ask this in every single video. It's because we don't have any other income right now. We're trying to build multiple streams of income. That was instructed by God. Don't tell me that I'm trying to make money. I'm not. That was instructed by God because we try to give jobs to people who are working for our ministry i don't offer job offers right now don't email me for jobs i already have people working uh, but i'm telling you that we're trying to support them as much as possible okay so please continue to tithe buy the udemy course if you're interested in starting a youtube channel i would suggest if your calling is ministry or you're doing trying to do something that you love start a youtube channel and you can email me if you have any questions and i'll help you guys out uh it's uh i'm trying to connect with people who try please email me if you're starting a youtube channel i will connect you with other people who are trying to connect to work on so we can help each other you know what i mean like i'm trying to help you out so i will connect you to these people as long as the, the youtube channel is about ministry most of all okay and uh we'll be able to help you out just come to I'll give you advice first of all we build you up we'll build build up your YouTube channel and then we'll see exactly what we can do first we'll do that okay now another thing I wanted to tell you is check out the music channels that I have the Yadis Kapo music channel the Ebbing Heaven Sounds Loop music channel and the guitar lessons channel I teach guitar if you're interested in guitar lessons let me know down in the comments or email me at john.kakalas at gmail.com and we'll set up a session for you guys i want to tell you something that uh the music that i make has healing properties if you want to pray to god and you want to be in his presence listen to the loop music channel app in heaven sounds everything is in the video description all the links that i told you are in the video description okay and you'll find that information there and please guys just uh just continue to tie to this ministry, support the ministry as we help people around you. We pray for you. And uh, guys, I'm going to tell you guys something that... You're going to make it.
people have been waiting for you for a solution. They've been looking around them for leaders and they haven't found anybody. If they see somebody who's gifted, they look them in the eyes and then tell them, kind of show them like, please save us. Please save us. And they're looking at you right now. In the beginning, people have become so distraught by the problems around them. A lot of people have done evil things because they had to compromise with the devil because they didn't know exactly how to they, they made a conscious choice. If I have to survive, I have to step on other people's backs. I have to use others. That's what they said to themselves. And that's of the devil. And God says, no, you have to stay focused on me. Otherwise, you're going to lose. People brag about how much money they make. And they, they don't understand. My cat is coming. What's wrong? Tiene clamo. Sorry, guys. It's cold. Why are you here? So, guys, um, they try. They compromise with the devil, and they're trying to. They think that that's all there is in the world, and that means they don't believe in God. They don't believe in God, and they say, "Well, God's not going to do anything. He doesn't do anything. Therefore, God doesn't exist." God is very quiet right now because everybody is put under the test. And you are their test. You are their test because God is using you in order to expose the ones, to expose our sins. What's wrong, Sidi? You want to see my cat? Come here. Here, there she is. Huh? Huh? She's purring. I don't know if you guys can hear it. She likes my company. She, I think she came back from outside. Anyways. So, God is very silent during the test, guys. He's very silent. And He's molding everybody. He's molding spiritually everybody. Are some people going to make it? Some people are not going to make it. The Holy Spirit is going to prevail. The Holy Spirit is going to prevail. And everything is going to work out. Chosen ones, you have a mighty role in this world. Stick close to it. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. There's no other way. It's a one way road. God is going to put you in this path. Do not go and hide in a cave or try and say, No, God, I don't want to do this. God is going to make you do it. He's going to push you forward to it. And guys, keep working on yourself spiritually. Stay close to God and don't give up. Okay? It's all going to be worth it. It's all going to be worth it. You'll see. And everything, whatever happens in your life, it's only, it's only going to make you stronger. Okay? Remember, stay close to God. Stay close to Jesus. Stay close to the Holy Spirit. Consult with the Holy Spirit and let Him guide you. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Remember Jesus Christ from Nazareth is always on the throne. You are the hope of the world. Embrace it.